Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. I'm here today to show you a fix when you get an error message in Photoshop CS6 and above about the object layer background is not currently available. The typical reason for this error is that you've already used the crop tool on your photo. When you use the crop tool in Photoshop CS6, it can be non-destructive. To have it be non-destructive to your photo, you'll uncheck Make sure delete crop pixels up at the top is unchecked. Then when you use the crop tool, I'm going to go ahead and select a four by six ratio and drag and then recenter at an angle I want with the grids and I check it off. What's nice about this, you'll notice, is it's non-destructive. If I decide I wanted a little more space, I can drag outward, click the check mark, and actually the canvas is still there. In former versions of Photoshop, you would not have that option. Once you crop, you lost the pixels. You threw them in the trash can. With the new crop tool, when you have delete crop pixels unchecked, you actually don't do that. You retain it unless you flatten or save as a JPEG. Once it's saved or flattened, then you do lose that same ability. But while it's in a layered format, you will be able to have non-destructive cropping. The negative or downside to this is some actions will not work. If they call upon the background layer, you will need to do a quick fix or you will get an error message. The error that you will get, I'm gonna go ahead and press play, is the object layer background is not currently available. The reason you'll get this, many actions do call upon the background layer. If they are to call upon the background layer in your layers palette, you'll see background layer um, with the little lock is now called layer zero. So again, we went from where it said background and a lock to layer zero by using this new crop tool. Here are some fixes. The first one is you can just double click and rename the layer background when you're done. It no longer has a lock so the actions will work and you'll still keep your non-destructive background layer and your non-destructive cropping. The second option of course is to flatten but then you lose the non-destructive cropping. The third option is to click delete crop pixels. When you crop with delete crop pixels checked, you will retain the word background. So if I start back from the beginning and I crop, it will stay the background layer. What you'll also notice though is if I expand outward that I did lose that and it now is adding just a plain white backdrop. Another option for you is to crop last. If you do cropping as your last step in your workflow, once you've run your actions, you will not run into this error. Additionally, we've also created a free action. The free action is called MCP Action Fixer for CS6. We have two actions in it. One is a basic flattening action, which again will make it so that it is destructive. The better of the two is going to be the MCP Action Fixer, and then it says colon background. And all you're gonna do is, once you've cropped with the delete crop pixels unchecked, you'll do that. And then if you're about to go use an action, all you'll do is you'll just click play. And it will turn it into that background layer without the lock. And then you can come in and run any action without getting that error. This will work as long as that original layer that was cropped is called layer zero and it will work on anybody's actions, not just ours. So feel free to use this as much as you want to get your actions working seamlessly after using the crop tool in CS6. Thank you so much for watching. This is Jody at mcpactions.com. Come download the action on our blog at mcpactions.com slash blog.